have a very powerful solar storm coming in. The influx of energy will strike our Earth's weak magnetosphere and it's expected to be reaching us the 1st or 2nd of June. Very powerful influx. Earthquakes, volcanic activity, adverse weather could be influenced by these cosmic rays striking our Earth. Now, according to space weather, the solar sector boundary crossing, Earth's magnetic field is quieting. As effects from the May 26 CME impact subside, the calm should continue until May 30th, when our planet is expected to cross through a fold in the heliospheric current sheet. The crossing is called solar sector boundary crossing, and it could trigger minor geomagnetic activity and auroras alerts. A sunspot blows up and dated May 28th, this happened uh, two days ago, just well, a day or so ago, sunspot AR2824 erupted and blew away some of the sun's atmosphere. And uh, we can watch this C9 class flare shove aside giant loops of hot plasma in this move from NASA's Solar Dynamics Observatory. Kindly support my Patreon account since YouTube has again demonetized my YouTube channel. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below. This is a beautiful picture of the CME. Soho Chronograph, May 29, 2021. That's what it looks like. And uh, we'll see it also on the uh, GIF of NASA. Here it is. Okay. So this was, is what will be coming at us. The shadowy solar storm can be seen racing across the sun, the sun's surface. It ripples out from the blast site asymmetrically, traveling mainly north and east. Such waves usually herald a coronal mass ejection, CME, and this CME has been detected. Now, before we see that, uh, let's take a look at what the C9 was that they told us. The C9 class flare, solar flares in the, exp the explosion of the sun happens when the energy stored twisted magnetic fields, usually by sunspot, is suddenly released and flares produce a burst of radiation across the electromagnetic spectrum from radio waves to x-rays and gamma rays. Scientists classify solar flares according to their x-ray brightness in the wavelength ranging 1 to 8 angstroms. There are three categories. X flares are big, they're major events that can trigger planet wide radio blackouts and long lasting radiation storms. M class flares are medium sized and they can cause brief radio blackouts that affect Earth's polar regions. And minor radiation storms sometimes cause uh, the M class flares compared to X and M class events. The C class flares are small with few noticeable consequences here on Earth. Now, each category for X flare, X ray flare has nine subdivisions ranging from C1 to C9. And this is the C9 that they're talking about in our situation. And now we'll go into the uh, Soho chronograph to see what that looks like. Okay, so here we are at Soho chronograph and see what it looks like. This is the CME dated May 29. There it goes. There it goes, there it goes. Okay, and this is just in like, uh, okay, there it goes again, it's coming in a loop. And that takes about an hour or so, I guess. Okay, so that will be coming at us at about June 1st to June 2nd. So if you feel it, sometimes you get a pressure on your head or a headache or something, it could be because of this as well. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support.